Hey, what's up guys? <clears throat> There's about to be a video uh, following this. I wanted to kind of do a little precursor to it to fill you in on uh, what I felt like were some of the blanks that <clears throat> I didn't go over. So basically the video is going to be about diagnosing an overheating issue. And when it comes to a lot of these issues, you kind of have to just, you know, process of elimination. You have to kind of go through anything that it could be and eliminate one by one by one to narrow down the problem. And diagnosing any kind of mechanical issue, uh, this is pretty much all the same. It's just a process of elimination. You want to eliminate everything. So that's kind of what this video is about. Uh, I've seen, uh, I've talked to a few people over the last few weeks that were trying to, fit, you know, diagnose if it was a head gasket or they, they weren't able to really pinpoint what the issue is. So in this video, I've kind of walked through that. Um, it's a 2010 Chrysler Town & Country and the customer had an issue with it overheating. And what happened was over the summer, they had a leak develop in one of the hoses. Well, they, re they replaced the hose themselves and they replaced the coolant with 100% water. And we're in Cincinnati, so when the weather turned and it got cold uh, a few days ago, the, the, the whole system froze up, like all the water froze and it caused an issue. So they took it to a Valvoline, they had them flush the coolant and replace it. And they were having, they were, they were still having some overheating issues. So I went out the other day, I checked it out. Um, the car at idle would run fine. It wouldn't overheat. But if you started to bring the RPMs up to 2000, 3000, whatever, it would start to overheat immediately. And there was no hot air coming through the vent, uh, indicating that either a coolant was not circulating through the heater core or B that the heater core was clogged up and that would have still lead you back to a it wasn't circulating so i went in and you'll see in the video i popped off the return um the return for out of the heater core the hose and we basically eliminated that from being the problem because if you took what i actually did and i don't recommend doing this but if you blow into one of the hoses and you put pressure on it you will get it to circulate uh, you can do this another way without actually putting your mouth on it and getting cooling in your mouth that's not fun but it is what it is um you can eliminate that. So when I did that, coolant came through the return line, no problem. It just, it was flowing like, you know, like it should. So I eliminated the heater core from being the issue. And you'll see in the video, I took the test kit from Harbor Freight and we're looking for the combustion for the fumes to come through and it'll change the blue liquid to a green color if it's positive for combustion or exhaust fumes in the coolant. When a, when a head gasket goes bad, it'll either crack near an oil port or it'll crack near one of the exhaust ports. So if it cracks near one of the oil ports, that's when you will always get coolant in the oil and you'll see the milky sludge in the oil and that's pretty self-explanatory. But when it cracks near an exhaust port, what'll happen is it'll start building exhaust fumes up into the coolant jacket and it'll run in through the whole system. And a lot of times what it'll do is it'll basically like create like a vapor lock in the system and there will be no uh, circulation. It'll, it'll basically just lock the whole system up and it'll fill up with exhaust fumes and that's what the test kit is for is to test for any kind of combustion or exhaust fumes coming through the system um, and you'll see in the video I did that basically we eliminated that as being the potential f cause of the problem so um, the end result was more than likely it's a water pump which you'll probably go do tomorrow I'll make another video on that um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of fill in some of the details because I felt like I did not cover those as well as I should have while making the video. Uh, but I'll attach the video and hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? Um, we're working on a 2010 Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, it's having problems overheating. They, uh, it just all of a sudden one morning they woke up, they went to start it, it was overheating. So we're trying to figure out exactly what it is. So I've already, went through the process of eliminating the heater core, the thermostat, plenty of coolant. So the only two things that really could be left is a head gasket or a water pump. So right now I have a test kit on here. You can pick these up super cheap from Harbor Freight. I'll flip this around and show you. So you can see it kind of bubbling here. So if a, if a head gasket is leaking, it's gonna start to leak combustion gases into the coolant system so this 
basically it, this will turn colors. So if it's if we start getting combustion leaking into the cooling system, this is going to bubble up and this is going to change. I think it's going to change yellow or green. You can see it bubbling now. So as of right now, we don't have any. There's no confirmation telling us that it has a blown head gasket as of yet. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards a water pump because I pulled off that little back the uh, the return line on the heater core. I think it's that top one there. I pulled that off, and there's no coolant coming back through the return line. However, if you put pressure on the system, coolant comes comes out of there with no problem. So that pretty much tells me that the heater core is not clogged up. Um, there's nothing stopping it from flowing out of there. So right now, this is where we're at. We're testing this. You can see it's still bubbling. It's still not changing colors. Uh, also, if you feel this top hose here, the top hose is warm. Come down here into the bottom. Grab this hose still ice cold so the water pump was flowing properly you would have warm coolant here and you would have warm coolant down there returning back through the system but there's not so that again is more of an indication telling me that the water pump is bad so I'm gonna let this run for a minute and go in here and check and see what the temp is on the car we're not getting any the heat is like barely lukewarm and I mean we're in Cincinnati you can see the running temp is just below halfway so we should definitely have hot heat coming out of here and we're not so a lot of times you'll get feel it again still warm see we can get plenty of bubbles up through here and there's just no saying that it's the blown head gasket. This would change green or yellow if it was, if it detected combustion or exhaust fumes coming through there, and it's just not. So, pretty much narrowed it down to the water pump. Again, feeling that top hose, and it's nice and nice and warm, and this bottom hose down here is still ice cold. So, that's it. Just wanted to hop on here and show you guys how you can kind of narrow it down and figure out uh, exactly what the issue might be so that's it catch you guys again